Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. So, I just happened upon this. I was about to play my nightly matches of Dota just so I can rage myself to sleep. And I saw a community post. I'm not sure what time this is uh, posted today, but it was some time today. So, you guys know about the battleground changes and how they removed all the playlists and they just left Deathmatch because that's how people treat it. So, um, that was like the Cliff Note version of what happened before. So, uh, we'll go back to September 14th. Hello all, when Battlegrounds first launched, we initially saw some sort, some data feedback showing a preference specifically towards deathmatch game mode. Long story short, they removed everything so you could only have deathmatch. Now that the few weeks has passed and they've able to acquire the data and kind of digest it from there, here's what they have to say. Thanks so much for your participation, patience, and feedback while we experimented with only having the deathmatch game mode available. It was important for us to run this for a few weeks to ensure we had an accurate representation, overall involvement, and interest in Battlegrounds during this time. Me personally, I only play Deathmatch, but you know that's just me. I don't really care too much about the objective game types, but uh, a lot of people do, and that was the point Gino uh, had to say in here. So first, it's valuable to note the general feedback on this test was quite polarizing. While there were certainly a lot of players that loved only having Deathmatch available, there was just as many players that did not enjoy it. A frequent complaint we saw, though, was the disappointment that we removed something that is ultimately at a core of our game, the freedom of choice. And, and in the case of this test, the data appeared to back it up as well. Although we initially saw a very slight bump in participation, it quickly declined and has left Battleground population in a fairly unhealthy state. So that's a really good point. Um, forcing people to only play Deathmatch is not uh, not good. You know. A uh, big firm believer in you are free to sever the chains of fate that bind you, right? You can have a choice. Well, this kind of took your choice away. So they have their data now. So what are they going to do about it? So starting with the launch in Update 32, uh, which is November 1st for us PC people and November 16th for you console guys. My heart goes out to you. I miss you all. We'll be giving you more choices to decide which game modes to queue. And depending on if you're playing solo or with a group, these will include... Solo Deathmatch, Solo Random Battlegrounds, Group Deathmatch, Group Random Battlegrounds. I think that's pretty good because the population is kind of scarce, so you do want to put in too many playlists, otherwise you'll never find a match. So one thing to keep in mind is the random queue will include all game modes, flag game modes, land grabs, and deathmatch. So the likelihood of getting deathmatch is going to be higher for those queuing into the game mode specifically. We'll continue to monitor the sentiment and participation rates of the Battlegrounds once this rolls out next month, and we'll let you know if we pl plan for any additional changes. Thanks again for posting all your thoughts during this time. So, um, pretty cool. Uh, maybe I just missed this a while ago. Maybe there's already videos about it now, but I just want to go ahead and kind of let you guys know that uh, Battlegrounds is going through some changes. I really like Battlegrounds. It's a nice, quick, easy way to just jump into some action, test out some builds. Yeah, it's not the same as Cyrodiil. Yeah, I get it, but if you try to go into Cyrodiil and test out some builds, and you know, you're you could be 20 minutes trying to find people, and then the people you do find are in like a 30 man group, and uh, that was really loud. Thank you, Dota. So I guess we're going to be hopping into some ranked Dota match, guys. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll kind of keep you updated on any more changes going forward. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.